Today I'm going to attempt to replicate this iconic century-old photograph of Doc Boggs, but instead of using my DSLR, I'm going to be using this vintage film monstrosity ah, to do it. Welcome and great to see your lovely faces on this fine December day. This is the very first episode of Photocopy Friday, the choose your own adventure photography challenge. Today my goal is to try to recreate the essence of this photo using this camera. This is a Pentax 672. I don't know anything about this camera except it's supposed to shoot really awesome medium format film photos. I do know a couple things about Doc Boggs, and this guy is absolutely legit. So imagine this, the year is 1927, the same year this photograph was taken. Doc Boggs is a professional touring musician. Then 1930, the Great Depression, Doc loses all of his money, loses all of his wealth, he has to quit his job as a musician, he pawns his banjo, and he gets a job as a coal miner. Then he spends the next 30 years working in the coal mines. So fast forward to 1963, Doc goes and picks himself up a new banjo, starts practicing, and then a couple months later, people from the folk music touring festival circuit knock on his door and invites him to become one of the main acts of their concerts. So he goes from like absolute obscurity to, to being a musician playing in front of crowds of like 10,000 people or more, just overnight. And like just consider like, you never know what's gonna happen when you put your creative work out there into the world. Cool story, right? All right, let's check out this photo. Cool old film photo from 1927. Okay, so yeah, there's this cool, there's like space beside the banjo. There's lots of head space. Tilted hat, suit and tie, banjo. There's obviously lots of light coming from one side of his face. It's got these like focused eyes. I'll have like a Doc Boggs vibe once I've done putting on my kit and yeah, fuck, how am I gonna? It's probably not gonna fit very well to shoot this photo in here. Let's set it up and see how it, how it goes. Let's do this. All right, Pentax 6-7. Oh my God, this thing looks crazy. Ha ha. Okay, this goes in there. Okay, you get it? All right, I think this thing's ready to actually shoot photos. Too cool. All right, gotta set the scene. Doc Boxy vibe. Let's get this. <laughs> I am absolutely a terrible banjo player. Oh, I just shot the first photo. It was of the wall. So I'm pretty much ready to go. Get the lighting, get the backdrop, outfit, camera. I'm definitely tight on space. Like, I got these two walls and I got this like lock box. So once the chair is there, the original photo is kind of like that. Feet on the ground, head space, and then extra room on that side. If this works, this, this photo is gonna look like super cool. So I can't look through the viewfinder and like get set up, figure out where my feet are. Okay, they're like six inches in front of this white line. My head is like, okay, this box. So then when I look through the viewfinder, I just got to set it up so that this box has some head space. Okay, so the bottom of that box, it's like I'm trying to get my feet in the photo. Anything left, what am I forgetting? If he's looking there, he's looking past the camera that direction. Okay, we're rolling this time. Okay, this is photocopy photo number one. Ah! <laughs> 
I was wearing my glasses. <laughs> we'll pretty much do the same thing again, but without glasses. So I'm not gonna change anything. Photo number two, without glasses. Okay, now we gotta make some adjustments. I don't even know exactly what to do, but I'm gonna change a couple things. Now I got them in a bit of a cluster. This will be photo number three. I think I'm getting the, the glare. I'm getting the stare a bit better this time. I'm gonna like... <laughs> that can dance fast. Okay. Waddle. We'll do the banjo waddle one more time. Okay. So. All right, this is it. The very last, last attempt to nail this photocopy. Okay, let's get it all. Nail this one. Pinky. Thumb. Last shot. So that's a wrap on shooting photos. I'm gonna go and develop this film and in about five seconds, we'll get to see the photos and decide whether or not I succeeded at this photocopy mission. See you in a sec. Boom. So I'm fresh out of the photo lab. I have the developed film. I have the printed photos and I have the scanned files. But the question remains, did I make a successful photocopy? Yes or no? Well, if it was up to this film, then it would be a big fat no because there's simply not enough information captured. They're too light, which means the photos are too dark. So if it was up to the photos, then no, I did not succeed because, because they're all too dark. Luckily, and this is where the story takes a turn in the right direction, one scan out of the whole batch had just enough information that I could drop that file into Photoshop work a little bit of magic, and produce what I consider to be the very first successful photocopy, Tim J. McLeod, Doc Boggs, sitting next to each other for the very first time and looking good. So that's it, that's all. Thanks so much for checking this out. If you disagree with the photocopy outcome, please let me know down in the comments. I would love nothing more than to debate the minute details of this photograph with you. Otherwise, thanks so much for checking this out. I'll see you in the next photocopy Friday, and perhaps something in between. Peace. Oh, I got no sugar baby now. I got no honey baby now. All I can do, said all I can say.